Hi, this is Dr. Centeno, and today we're going to talk about how to read your low back MRI report for disc issues. So what does the disc do? The disc basically acts as a shock absorber that lives between the spine bones. It's got a tough outer covering and kind of an inside gel called the nucleus pulposus. And it fits into the spine living in the front of the spine, whereas the facet joints live in the back of the spine. There's a bulging disc, and if you have that, that's basically where the disc is pushed out, pressing on or irritating a nerve, which can lead to not only back pain, but sciatica type symptoms. So the words to look for are protrusion, protruded, bulging, disc bulge, bulging disc, broad based disc bulge. A herniated disc where the inside gel herniates and squirts out, and that can put pressure on a nerve or irritate a nerve. And the words to look for are extrusion, extruded, herniated, herniated nucleus pulposus, disc herniation, disc extrusion, free fragment, sequestered fragment, or sequestered. And then there's a torn and painful disc. That's when a disc has a tear. Most of the time, that's just low back pain that gets worse with sitting, uh, and you really can't tolerate sitting. Other times, the little hole in the disc can leak chemicals and irritate the nerve as well. Things to look for, annular tear, high intensity zone, HIZ, or annular fissure. And then there's a degenerative disc where the disc loses height and you get bone spurs. So this is more like a bone on bone or an end stage disc. And that can cause back pain, that can irritate nerves, etc. The words to look for are degenerative disc disease, DDD, degenerative disc, spondylosis, decreased disc height, osteophytes. And you can also have a degenerative spondylolisthesis as well, where one vertebra moves forward of the other. So that's pretty much it on understanding what kind of disc problem you have based on your MRI report. Go to Regenix.com to get more information on how to solve these issues using your stem cells and platelets without the need for invasive and often disastrous surgery. Thank you so much.